That is our mission here. Dead swans, distracted drivers, and now pedestrians in danger. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Andrea Lyon with the growing problem in Lakeland and what the city is now doing about it starting today. Oh, it's heartbreaking. It's sad. It's a sad, sad thing. Five swans killed, one person severely injured in a matter of weeks. It's hard to imagine such a terrible trend in such a beautiful area. They're gazing at the beauty of what's out here. But the city of Lakeland believes all that beauty and drivers lack of patience. Maybe what's wrong with Lake Morton Drive. It's a lot of traffic and then with the swans and stuff crossing the roads, it holds up a lot of traffic. 4,600 cars per day, hundreds of ducks, swans and other birds wandering in and out of the road. Experts tell ABC Action News the issue is surfacing on the west side of the lake and seems to happen most often when cars are turning right onto Lake Morton Drive. As we look at traffic patterns, we're going to try to figure out what we can do to implement uh, various techniques so drivers have to pay more attention to what they're doing. How many signs do you have out here that says swan crossing? We found just one sign warning drivers of ducks crossing the road. The city now looking to see if additional crosswalks, colored concrete or LED lighting may help. We got to figure out a way to save the birds. In Lakeland, Andrea Lyon, ABC Action News.